Okay, welcome to the long distance learning for topographical maps. Today we're going to be taking a look at topographical maps and trying to understand how they work. In contrast to most maps, a topographical map shows the shape of the Earth's surface by using contour lines. In the past, maybe you've seen contour maps that are sort of bumpy like this one. But in contrast, most maps, contour maps, use lines and they use the closeness of the lines to show elevation. Contours are imaginary lines that join points of equal elevation above or below sea level. Let's have our little man take a walk up the hill. We're now at 100 meters of elevation. As he keeps on going, now we're going to be at 200 meters of elevation. And of course you can see we're at a side profile of the hill. Now we're at 300 meters of elevation. And as we go to the peak, in order to get a measurement, we need sort of like a, a, another type of measurement. So we add 50 meters. And at the peak, we're at 350 meters in elevation. And as we head down the hill, we can, we can actually see that we can take a look at the different elevation from a, a side point of view, from a cross section point of view. So now we're going to take a look at the same hill, but the way we might see it from a drone or an airplane. If you look at each color change, it's represented by 50 meter increases. So if you look at the little man, he's at zero meters right now. So what's our elevation? Zero meters, right? So you can take it and stop this video and take a guess at where he's at, depending on which color. Like right now, what, what elevation do you think he's at right now? You can stop the video and take a guess. So if we're standing on the peak, we're going to be more than 350 but less than 400. And as we head downhill, stop the video and take a guess at what his elevation is. Okay, so he's more than 100 meters, less than 150 meters. And then now, what you're looking at is an actual topographic map. And here's some questions. So stop the video for each question. Number two, what is the elevation at point E on the map? Number three, what is the elevation be difference between A and B on the map? Number four, could the elevation at F be 417 meters? Again, stop the video, answer the question, and then resume. If you walked a straight line from D to C, would you walk over a ridge or down a valley? How do you know that? Number six, just looking at the map, would it be easier to head down from the peak going east or going north? And here are your answers. If you're not quite sure about this, go back, take a look at the questions, analyze your results, take a look at the answers, and then if you have any questions, please write them down and we'll go over that uh, next time. Take care.